Our next presenter is uh, Lila Gurbeta from Bosnia and Herzegovina. Lila is the technical manager at uh, Verlab Sarajevo, which is uh, a device inspection laboratory. She is an assistant, assist, assistant uh, professor at Birch University as well. She will share with us her contribution in the National Device <laughs> Metrology Laboratory. Leila, please. Uh, thank you, Ladina. Uh, hello, everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. I'm uh, really glad to be here with you today. Uh, the health uh, technology uh, challenge uh, that I will be uh, speaking about today uh, is a prediction of medical device performance using machine learning algorithms. Uh, this is uh, something uh, that my team uh, is working on and it is based on medical device uh, safety and performance rel reliability. Uh, that is why during this uh, brief presentation I will try to show you uh, the main idea behind this research. Next slide. So as we all know, healthcare system and innovations in medicine, they prove to be backbone of humankind over and over again. Even this uh, COVID-19 pandemics, uh, we have seen uh, how medical devices are useful and um, that their reliability is really important. Next. Uh, medical devices cover a wide range uh, of applications from prevention, monitoring, prediction, prognosis, treatment, etc., etc. Next. It's a very uh, wide market, uh, and uh, there are a variety of uh, devices that are presented in healthcare institutions. Next. And there is one fact that I want to point out, and that is that when you go to the healthcare institution and that uh, when you do all kinds of tests and measurements, you actually, as a patient, you rely on uh, those test results, the numbers, the graphs, uh, the images that are gathered by these medical devices, and you don't even question, uh, are those measurement data reliable? Next. But I like to say that in God we trust, but all others must bring data. So in order to rely on those results that are covered, that are acquired with medical devices, we need to trust those medical devices and we can trust them if we make them reliable. How do we make them reliable? By um, establishing traceability chain, by combining metrology within the field of medical device. So um, where does the data actually come from? Uh, for the medical devices, uh, the data can come from the post-market surveillance and there are a vigilance system and post-market surveillance that is already implemented as part of the market of medical devices. And also there is another type of data that is coming from healthcare institution uh, from the management of medical devices and maintenance. Next. But, you know, the world has changed and we are witnessing the change in every aspect of human life, in every activity, in every industry. So we are also witnessing that healthcare sector is uh, transforming. It is adopting uh, Industry 4.0. Um, uh, it is adopting artificial intelligence. So let's see what we can do if we adopt artificial intelligence in this field as well. Next. As I said, we are living in the age of artificial intelligence where all other branches of human activity have successfully adopted uh, artificial intelligence. So now you have expert intelligence systems suggesting you music you like, uh, communicating with you on uh, websites, uh, solving your problems, uh, analyzing a bunch of the data and pr uh, providing a diagnosis, treatment and all other kinds of solutions. Next. Uh, in medical devices, uh, machine learning and artificial intelligence has already been used. Uh, and even if you don't think about it, uh, you may witness its usage in medical devices. So um, artificial intelligence in medical devices is used, uh, for example, for uh, providing prediction on diagnosis or um, image analysis. And again, uh, giving information about diagnosis or treatment. Next. 
uh, artificial intelligence can be also uh, a part of uh, more complex uh, systems. And here you can see uh, some of uh, intelligent system that my research team has developed. Uh, we have um, investigated the application of the different uh, machine learning uh, and neural network uh, frameworks. Uh, and we did that uh, for different kinds of diseases. For example, uh, heart diseases, Alzheimer, uh, cancer, et cetera, et cetera. So next slide. We are now at the point where we want to use uh, artificial intelligence uh, for um, managing of medical devices. So beside these applications that you can see uh, that are already implemented and well known, uh, such as management of chronic diseases, medical imaging, um, Internet of Things, uh, uh, accompanied with a lot of sensors, we want to investigate the possibilities of application of artificial intelligence within the management of medical devices. Next. So uh, we started investigating uh, this area and we have seen that uh, there are no uh, uh, major uh, applications of uh, artificial intelligence in a medical device management. There are applications of artificial intelligence in management of devices in other fields, uh, but there is uh, no strong, uh, at least that we know, uh, investigation about uh, their application uh, for medical device management. Next. Um, as I said, uh, artificial intelligence can be used for uh, medical device uh, inventory management. Next. Uh, prediction of device failure is actually something that we are uh, working on. So, uh, Jennifer, if you can just, uh, Kalira, if you j can just go through the slides and I will uh, speak. So, to predict the future, we need the data. And uh, our data comes from medical devices. Uh, here you can see uh, inspections that we are covering within the uh, framework. Uh, we are doing yearly inspections of medical devices. We are using three fields, as you can see here, medical devices, metrology, and standardization. So our data come from these yearly inspections. Next. Uh, using uh, calibrated etalons, and all inspections are pro, uh, done by the inspection body, which is accredited by the ISO 70020. Uh, uh, this is all documented in the book Inspection of Medical Devices uh, that was published by Springer, and you can find it. Here uh, you have a definition on what does the verification or the inspection means. We are actually doing the surveillance of medical devices within the legal framework, and this is how it looks uh, in healthcare institutions. So with each uh, inspection, we are generating data, which are uh, device-related parameters, parameters of electrical safety, and parameters of performance uh, of the device. So we are planning on using those uh, data, which we uh, put in the database, uh, on developing an expert system, which will uh, be uh, able to predict the performance and possible failure of a medical device. So beside this information, we also need information about uh, medical device uh, service uh, periods and spare part replacement. So our question, which we are investigating, is what if we could use this data to predict when medical device will malfunction? So uh, instead of causing injuries and that outcomes, can we develop some intelligence system by adopting artificial intelligence, which will just say when the device will fail so we can save the patient, which is ultimate goal if you're doing the clinical engineering. So we have been doing some investigation and we have published two papers. We have done an experimental study on defibrillators and we have done an experimental study on infant incubators. And we have shown that uh, application of artificial intelligence in this field is very, very promising. And as I said, we're working with the small data set that we are expanding in the future period uh, with the information such as service periods, spare part replacement, et cetera, et cetera. And this is what we dream of, some expert system which will be available in every healthcare institution by every medical device that can tell the user of possible failure or degradation in the performance. Next. So as you can see, this is a little bit detailed, uh, but I covered this. Uh, next. 
and that's it. Uh, we have a dream. We have a dream that medical devices won't harm patients in the future. Uh, we, we are using engineering approach for solving uh, that problem. Uh, and we hope that uh, 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 for some time, we will uh, produce a solution uh, that will uh, keep the patient safe uh, while keeping the performance of any medical device used in healthcare institution on very high level. So thank you very much for the attention. I hope that you like this presentation and I hope that uh, I uh, woke some spark in you for the investigation in this field. Uh, if you like to join uh, the discussion about this um, uh, field, feel free to contact me via data presented here on the slide. Thank you very much. Leila, thank you so much for sharing your dream with us, I think. All of us can help but be a little excited with that and the way that you're approaching that and, and really appreciate it. So thanks for all of your slides and all of that data there.